All right, so I began the process of um, lighting up the LEDs, but first I have to fill these with the diodes. Um, it's tedious. I see it's far more tedious than putting on the sticker. I have, I'll have to say. Um, so I have a bit more to do, and then uh, yeah. All right. All right. Um, this with uh, the necessary these are installed for this panel. This. Oops. Sorry. This one behind this one. There. And this, of course. Um, initially wanted the red ones just to uh, st to flash, um, but I'm gonna include some of the white ones as well. The ones above here, some of them. I can only do so much though. In the bottoms here, I want these to stay on, like constantly on. So, but yeah. So to figure out which ones, which other white ones I want to f flash, so um, I was going to use glue stick for this thing, but uh, I ended up just using E E six thousand. So. As for soldering the wires, um, we may probably most likely have to cut because it will be quite difficult to solder if uh, all these are sticking out. We'll, uh, we'll see. But that's most likely the scenario, and yeah. So that's it for this one. Thanks. All right, just a quick update. This is the, uh, we're wearing up the, uh, this board here in parallel. So, um, rough job, but hey, uh, as long as it works, we'll see. We already tested it. The green doesn't come out as much, especially the big one there, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah. All right, so the blue is a dud, but the rest lights up. So, yeah, it sucks about the blue, but, you know, what the heck? It's okay. I can live with it. Because the wiring was a pain in the ass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, here, on, off, remote, right here. Okay, that's it. Thanks. All right, just a follow up. I, uh, the previous segment showed it's almost done, and as you can see, it is done. Um, looks good. Now, um, let me see. In terms of lighting this up, I plan to have these ones at the bottom remain constant on whereas up here will be the chaser lights so these things will like blink particularly the red ones and also i'm also planning to have some of the white ones as well uh blink so i'm gonna have some in each of these five uh sections um some of those white ones blink as well now oh, my <laughs> My main concern though is like uh, wiring it. Um, I may have to most likely cut certain whatever. Again, it depends on which ones I decide will be lit. Um, I'm trying to find the most simplest, <coughs> excuse me, simplest way to wire this thing. So, um, I 
we'll see. But that's gonna be the challenge for this, fighting this thing up. All right, that's it, thank you. All right, just want a quick update on uh, what I said about the blue LED being a dud. Um, it might not be. I th I believe uh, the reason why it wasn't lighting up is because it's not the same voltage as the red, green, and orange. Um, the um, what was it? I think it's three point two. I can't remember what the voltage was. I'll have to look it up. But apparently it's on a different voltage, which is why it wasn't lighting up. Um, it has the same voltage, I believe, as the yellow, uh, the white LED. Um, I and I realized that when I was actually wiring the next the next panel, um, I had actually wired everything together, but only the. Um, this would light up and not the back part. So what I did was I just, okay, let me start from the beginning. All these wires that you see here, they weren't soldered together like this. They were all soldered to, in parallel to these ones here, right? And the same as the negative. And when I tested it to light up, this only lit up and not this. So I'm thinking maybe the LEDs were busted, so, to test it I could also use a multi-tester too but um, I desoldered it and then I soldered these together and I did the same with this I desoldered it from this and then when I tested it by itself it lit up so um, apparently like I said the white LEDs take a different voltage than the red and orange which take uh, we tried the same voltage So, um, yeah, so what I'm going to do then is for this to light up, my next thing would be to um, wire this in parallel to any one of these ones here. Probably this one, one of the white ones. And that should light up. The blue one should light up, in theory, or in, in actuality. Okay, um, uh, let me see here, the, alright, so the soldering is, I know there's some cold joints here and everything, so I could start rewiring it again, but all I'm, what I'm going to do is, I, like I did with here, I, I'm going to just uh, apply some glue stick over the joints to rent it from, uh, it ain't pretty, but it works. <laughs> Um, I just wish that the, this had a thinner nozzle, but it doesn't, so it would have been a lot more neater. But, uh, like I said, as long as it works, um, it ain't pretty, I know, but... Alright, so these work, these work, they've been tested. Alright, um... And, yeah, um... So once this is done, I'm gonna head on to do um, the uh, where's, where's that part? So I could, this one here, the chasers. It's gonna be a challenge. Um, then they're gonna be individually wired in the sense that the whites are gonna be wired separately from the reds. Like, like I said again, because of different voltage. Um, and yeah and these bottom ones here will be constantly on so again i have to wear those on a different channel on the remote yeah okay so so that's the update for that blue led i've yet to find out if, that, if it's not a dead or not i'm gonna wire it up see what happens all right all right just an update i've uh the blue led is not a dud it works um i was i tested it i can't unfortunately i can't show it on video um but uh, my brother helped me to connect it we did it without having to solder 
and it does light up. Um, so the blue one, the blue and the white are 3.2 volts and the uh, red, orange and green are 2.2. So those will be, so the, in other words, the blue will be wired together with the, um, in parallel with uh, this one here. So it'll be connected to this wire, these two wires here, for it to light up. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's quite a mess actually. I, I actually put in a glue glue stick to reinforce the other uh, solder so they won't they won't come off. Um, Particularly when I'm doing like the final wiring, because these um, unfortunately the because the wires for this uh, the gauge it, the, these are stranded strands and not solid wire, so those break much more easily. In my experience, so that's the reason why I applied these uh, glue. So when moving the wires or manipulating it or trying to form it when doing the final wiring it's not gonna you know it's not gonna move and you know with constant movement it's it's in my experience it, it it breaks it breaks off from the contact and i don't want that to happen later on down the line so yeah it ain't pretty, but you know what? It works. Check the continuity with the multimeter. Everything's fine. So that's obviously, yeah. Okay, so this is what I did. I got a huge blob there. But. <laughs> okay. Actually, normally I'd be like concerned about the gluing thing, but this is going to be in the back, you know, it's going to be like, so you won't be seeing that, all that stuff. What really counts for me is that there, it's, there's a continuity that, uh, and that's going to light up. All right, that's the update on that. Thanks. All right, just a quick update. Um, I decided to leave these open. So I won't be screwing on the, the panel back back panels and I also it's a pretty rough job but it does but it does what it's supposed to be. Um, I'm gonna be having the wires going over the side here. That's because of for ease of uh, connection and um, yeah, it's just I was thinking of just putting one wire, but there, like I said, there are too many wires, so this was just the most efficient, e easiest way to do it. So again, this is going to be at the back anyway, so it won't be shown. Um, and I've also decided to use JST connectors. Probably male here for. The for this PCB and female connectors up here to come. So I can always disconnect the PCB board from this unit. So it's for, cause I don't want to, I don't want it. I didn't want to solder these permanently. And it's just, it's just gonna be cumbersome to move around to, to arrange and whatnot. So GST connectors made more sense. All right, so, and I've ordered those, and um, yeah, now, um, essentially the wiring is pretty easy, but the main challenge now is to connect, uh, is to solder wires to essentially the reds, which will be the chasers, or the bottom ones here, Will be uh, won't be chaser LEDs. It's going to be the constant uh, lights turned on. So um, or I can do lots of chasers just to make things easier. 
but it makes more sense for this to be uh, for the bottom ones to be um constant because they're um they're leds indicator lights for the switches i believe um if i were to flip this thing over you'll not see what i mean Let's see Right. Uh. Right. It doesn't make sense for it to go to uh, to blink. They're essentially, they're essentially the indicator lights that this, this uh, the panel is on. Um, I'm also planning to do some of the white LEDs as cheese light. light uh, I hook, hook up some of the LED, white LEDs to be chasers as well, and not just the red. So that's the plan. Again, like this, like the challenge there. For, like I said, it's just to it's gonna be rather. Uh, soldering the wires accordingly to whatever LED, LED diodes I choose. Um, I. Most likely, we will be have to be cutting um, some of the connectors, connections, in order to solder whatever, because it's just there's very minimal space. So cutting is in order for sure. Um, for whatever LED I choose. Um, so yeah, so that's where I stand. That's it for the updates. All right. Thanks for watching.